Hello everyone, this is Carrie Vacanti with Stampiphany, a great Stampin' Idea. Last week I uploaded a video of a Project Life album. This one right here. And I got really great responses from it. And so I thought today I would show you how I did the base of the album. Uh, the premise being that you could make just a standard album, kind of like a vanilla thing out of either white or black or craft. Um, this is the craft text. And then whenever you have an occasion that you need a baby book or a wedding or maybe even a travel book, uh, because it's sized perfectly to fit with Project Life kits, you could just slap that in and you're good to go. Let me show you what we've got going on here. Um, the supplies that you're gonna need. Well, first off, let's start with the paper supplies, the consumables. You'll need a roll of tape. Uh, we have good tearing tape. I'm using up my square tape that I, I bought a huge amount of it and so I'm using that up. Um, Fast Fuse works really well especially when you're putting in the cards and the pages. You'll definitely need a bone folder and the paper supplies that you'll need is I'm using some craft text. You can buy it in sheets. I happen to purchase mine on a bolt. I just purchased the whole bolt and just cut it down. There's two of them here. I just cut two of them down. And uh, this is kind of a cross between paper and fabric. It's kind of a hybrid. I feel that it works really well for the albums so they don't uh, split along the seams and stuff. And I think it works really well for that. So we'll need some craft text. Or if you want to use regular white cardstock, you could do that. Uh, you'll just need two sheets, eight and a half by 11 and you'll put those together on the long side. You'll need some chipboard. Uh, I like to save the chipboard from our specialty designer paper. If you don't have any of that, you can purchase uh, craft uh, chipboard off of Amazon in 12 by 12 sheets, and you only need one sheet. You actually don't even use a whole 12 by 12 chipboard piece in order to make this album. So, um, and all the sizes of all of these, uh, rather than me trying to remember and accidentally giving the wrong size, I will put all the sizes in the description box and also on my blog when this video is uploaded. You also need a bunch of white, Whisper White, in this case Whisper White because I use a white background. I'll, I have my pages here and then these are the front, inside, and back cover. These are my pull-out pages and then I also have a stack here and these are my flip-up pages. They're these pages right here that flip up like that. Uh, you need about, um, I'm going to say like 16 I think. Again that'll be in the description box. And the trick to saving on paper when you cut these, um, I'll show you really quick after I'm done showing all the supplies. Um, you also need a Project Life kit. This is actually one that was a celebration one from last year. I'm kind of trying to de-stash right now, getting ready for a big challenge in May, so I'm trying to use up all my supplies. You'll need at least one full Project Life kit from Stampin' Up! to make this. You'll have a few cards left over, uh, but you'll need at least one, and I recommend using the accessory kit as well that matches the Project Life kit. That way you can add a bunch of fun little details like I did here. I have the little tabs here and of course there's these little stickers. Um, if you want to see this album in its entirety, I have it in the last week's video and I can link that in the description box below. And then of course I have um, a bunch of uh, cardstock right here and I'm trying to use up, like I said, my stash. So this is some Costa Cabana that's discontinued. Um, and I believe the uh, Blackberry Bliss and this Hello Honey is going to be discontinued as well soon. But um, basically the way I chose my colors is I just went by the Project Life kit that I chose and just picked out three of the colors. You could pick out more if you want or less, whatever works for you. Um, but this obviously would be something that you would cut and prep after you picked the Project Life kit that you wanted to use. That way the colors all match. Okay, first tip for preparing uh, is how to cut your Whisper White cardstock. Okay. 
So in order to get the most you can out of your Whisper white cardstock, your pages are seven by four and three fourths, and you need two per page because these are sleeve pages, and I'll show you those in a minute, what I mean by that. So what you wanna to do to get the most out of these is instead of just cutting it to where you only get one side, you should be able to get two per sheet. So what you'll do is, is you'll first cut this the long way seven, And then you'll turn it and go four and three fourths by four and three fourths. So four and three fourths, and then cut another one four and three fourths. And so that's how you get two per sheet of white cardstock. Now, by doing it that way, that means you only need six sheets to do your sleeve pages. Okay. Now, when it comes time to do your cardstock, let me show you how to cut those so you can get three per page because you'll need quite a few of them. Now your cardstock or your matte pages that accent your, your Project Life cards those are four and a fourth, four and a fourth by six and a fourth. So in order to get as much as you can out of that, because we know half of eight and a half is four and a fourth, we know we can get two this way. So we're gonna turn it this way and cut it at six and a fourth. And then we'll cut it at four and a fourth. So here's two page mats. But now we have this one left over. Well, by cutting it the way we just did, we can ensure that we actually get three to a page this time. And we can do that because of the four and a fourth. So I cut this to six and a fourth. And now out of one sheet of cardstock, you can get three mats. And that works out really well because I believe two, four, six, eight, ten, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, I need 24. So 24 divided by three, you could get out of um, eight sheets, you can have all the mats that you need. Now that we have all of our paper supplies cut and prepped and ready to go, we're ready to start assembling our book. I hope you'll join me for the next video where we start with our book cover and go from there. Thanks for stopping by today and we'll see you soon.